Reports are stating that Spurs have just rejected a 14 million euro bid from AC Milan for Emerson Royale. But reports on Saturday are stating that Barcelona are now interested in the Spurs right back. Joe Roden has just come out and thanked the fans. Three fixture changes. On Saturday morning, 22 players walk through the door at Hotspur Way to report for pre-season training, including Gray and Bergval. And 13 new players have just been introduced and will join the Spurs under-18s as full-time first-year scholars. Chris Cowley. Fan Cows. Club News. Transfer News. Match previews, legend interviews, Spurs women, press conferences, covering everything Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. So let's start by saying that the Tottenham Hotspur players are back at Hotspur Way today. 22 first team players have arrived back at Hotspur Way for pre-season training. Uh, Forster, Scarlett, Davis, Spence, Whiteman, Johnson, Brian Hill, Valise, Poro, Phillips, Regulon, Skip, Udogi, uh, Austin, Timo Werner, Saar. Uh, Mana Solomon, Rashalison, Kulisevsky, and Madison, and new signings Lucas Bergvall and Archie Gray are in the building. Now let's talk about some fixture changes. Now the Premier League broadcast selection process for the remainder of August and September has now been completed with three of our fixtures moving to Sunday slots. Our away games against Newcastle United and Manchester United plus the home North London derby against Arsenal in between those matches will all now take place on Sundays and will be televised live in the UK on Sky Sports. The Premier League will confirm the kickoff time for our trip to St James's Park in due course. Kickoff times for the Arsenal and Manchester United games have been confirmed. Our opening weekend fixture away to Leicester City has already been confirmed to take place on Monday, the 19th of August. Kickoff time 8 pm. That one is also live on Sky Sports. Broadcast selections and associated fixture changes for October onwards will be announced in due course. Now, the fixture changes August, September, Newcastle away will now take place on Sunday, September uh, the 1st, kickoff time to be confirmed. Arsenal at home now on Sunday the 15th of September, kickoff time will be 2pm and Manchester United away now on Sunday the 29th of September, kickoff time will be 4.30pm. Now, on Friday evening, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club announced that they have just introduced 13 new players that this week have formally joined our under-18s as full-time first-year scholars. That includes exciting young prospect, 16-year-old George Feeney. Now, Stuart Lewis, the under-18 boss, said we're really excited to work with the new scholarship intake. It's a very proud moment for the players as individuals and for their families who have played a pivotal role in their journey so far. Stuart Lewis also said becoming a full-time scholar at Tottenham Hotspur represents an unbelievable achievement. Now we get down to work as we approach the start of the new season. As a team of staff, we look forward to working and developing these players individually and collectively as we support their scholarship years at the club. Now, former Tottenham Hotspur defender Joe Roden, who, of course, has just signed for Leeds United, wrote the following on social media, thanking Tottenham Hotspur and the fans. He said a huge thank you to everyone at Tottenham Hotspur. It was a pleasure to play for the club with such great teammates. And I would like to thank the fans for the support that they showed me throughout my time here. Now it is time for a new chapter. Former Spurs midfielder Tom Carroll has just signed for MK Dons. It has just been reported by MK Citizen that MK Dons have just confirmed their eighth signing of the summer transfer window. Experienced midfielder Tom Carroll hopes that he can use his wealth of knowledge and experience to help MK Dons in the right direction after signing for the club on Friday. The 32-year-old has played nearly 300 career games for the likes of Spurs, Swansea and most recently Exeter, making the move to Stadium MK as part of Mike Williamson's rebuild. 
Now, reports in Italy have just stated AC Milan have had their first offer of €14 million Euros to Emerson Royale, rejected by Tottenham Hotspur, with the Premier League side holding out for at least €20 million. Euros. It has been reported in Italy that Milan will have to stump up more cash if they want to add the Brazilian to their squad this summer. And reports published in Spain on Saturday morning are stating that Barcelona are now eyeing a move for Tottenham Hotspur right-back and former Barcelona right-back Emerson Royale. And reports in Turkey today are stating that Fenerbahce are looking to make a bid for Spurs midfielder Pierre Mujoybier sometime soon. Now, my thoughts on everything in this episode. Let's start by talking about the 22 players walking through the door at Hotspur Way this morning for pre-season training. Of course, 20 players have returned and two new players have walked through the door. Archie Gray and Lucas Bergvall. Cannot wait to see them play. And uh, when you think about it, I think it's 11 days away, our first pre-season game um, in Scotland, away at Hearts. Really, really looking forward to it. And uh, it's exciting. Um, I know that Spurs have got so much more to do in the transfer window. I'm expecting a lot of these players to head out the door and uh, a lot more players to come in the door as well. But uh, when you look at you know, what Spurs have done in previous transfer windows under Ange Postacoglu, and uh, we are now introducing more uh, fantastic young talent, Archie Gray being one of them, uh, Bergval being another, um, you know, we've got a number of players in our youth system as well that can come through um, and hopefully and will give them game time for next season. But um, this, you know, that game um, against Hearts, which is on general sale, by the way. So if you do uh, require a ticket and you are a member or a season ticket holder, you can go and purchase a ticket um, online now. Um, it will be a great game and it will be a great opportunity to give um, these young players... Um, their first minutes in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Of course, it's not competitive. Um, this is exactly what these friendlies are about. It's about giving game time and it is about uh, trialling them in certain positions and in certain situations and uh, something I am really, really looking forward to. But as I've said many times and as I'll keep stressing, Spurs have a lot of work to do in this transfer window. But when you look at the transfer windows under and so far, every one of them has been promising Every one of them, um, you know, is taking us forward as a football club again. And that does need to continue throughout the whole of this window and, of course, the next windows as well. So three of our games have just been rescheduled for Sundays. Of course, I'm expecting a lot of Sunday games. Um, you know, we're playing eight Europa League group stage games during the season, which takes us up to January. So uh, there's eight straight away. And, uh, you know, the Premier League and Sky Sports have just added a couple more. Uh, the Newcastle away game, of course, we are awaiting that time. A lot of people's guess at the moment is a 12.30. I certainly hope not because uh, that is a long trip up to Newcastle. And let's face it, the last couple of trips up there have not been great. Now, um, Spurs have just rejected a bid. It has just been reported um, 14 million euros um, from AC Milan for Emerson Royale. Reports this morning are stating that Barcelona are interested in their former right back. Um, as I've said on this channel many times and as I will continue to say until Emerson Royale is sold, I just feel like his time is up at Spurs. Um, I have nothing against him. I just think that Spurs need to move in a different direction. I think Emerson Royale needs to go um, you know, to a, a different club. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to just admit that, you know, some signings haven't worked out or the time that they've spent at the club, you know, it's gone as far as it can. And uh, it's best for all parties that uh, the player moves on and Spurs then reinvest um, in someone else. And let's face it, um, Emerson Royale is not um, Ange Postacoglu's player. He's a player he, he uh, inherited into his squad. And it is all now about, you know, driving us forward and finding the players that Ange wants and finding the players that are going to do a job exactly what Ange Postacoglu uh, wants them to do. And, uh, you know, I wish uh, Emerson Royale all the very, very best wherever he goes. Uh, but definitely this summer he has to move on. Same with Pierre Mujoybier as well. Um, I thought it was funny... Um, 
of course, Pierre Mihorbier uh, played exceptionally well um, at the Euros. I've no doubt that we're going to have a number of decent offers in for him uh, this summer. So the next few weeks are going to be very, very interesting. Um, but he is another player I feel like um, he needs to go. And uh, you know, it was funny because he put a, a post out on Instagram yesterday of him um, on a sun lounger. And it said uh, out of office, which uh, it did make me smile. Um, but he is another player that I will wish all of the very best. But he is clearly a player. Um, although Ange Postacoglu used him a lot last season um, and was very important for Spurs, actually. I know a lot of people won't like to admit that, but he was an important player for, for Spurs and Postacoglu last year. I just don't feel like Ange Postacoglu sees Pierre Mihoibier as a starter or sees him as a player that he... He wants to start in, you know, most games and that is not a good situation to be in. So another situation where I feel like Pierre Mihoibio will be better off somewhere else and we'll be better off uh, investing the money that we get from someone like him in someone else. Um, 13 new players have just been introduced uh, to the under 18s. And as Stuart Lewis said, what a great opportunity for them. And, uh, you know, you know, hopefully it will be... Um, you know, another couple of players from this 13 that will actually eventually go through to the under-21s and then, of course, the first team. And uh, as I keep saying, we've got a very bright future. And as I've said a lot recently, um, it is about that mix. It is about that balance of finding good, experienced players uh, playing with a lot of uh, young, exciting talent as well. So hopefully we'll find that balance. Hopefully we'll find that mix. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we will have another couple of great signings through the door. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.